What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today, ooh, today I got something cool planned for you all. Today I'm going to talk about my top five go-to pens. This is not necessarily my everyday carry because uh, only one, maybe two of these um, I would actually take out of the house. And by out of the house, I mean like travel in my everyday life with, like take it to work, you know, on the bus, all that kind of stuff, um, or, you know, trips or anything like that. This is just what I usually go to um, in my uh, everyday life at home. So for those of you who don't know me and haven't watched my like five tips for journaling video, I journal quite frequently uh, every day. So usually about 20 to sometimes 60 minutes a day, um, I'll spend journaling, especially on my days off or days I don't work until much, much later in the day. Um, I'll put on a pot of coffee and I'll just sit down and go to town. So these are my top five go-tos in the last probably six months. I think I might do this every six months or so, um, just kind of update it. So these five pens are the ones that I reach for the most often. When I look into my entire fountain pen collection, these are the five that I always basically choose from. Um, and I'm gonna start off with one that has actually been in my go-tos for probably mm, two years, three years, or, or even more, but, but that is the Platinum Century 3776. And I've done a review of all of these actually, so I'll try and remember to leave all five in the iCard um, so that you can watch the full reviews. Um, the Platinum 3776, the reason why I love this one, uh, whoa, uh, reflexes like a cat. Um, the reason why I love this one is because it is cartridge converter, so I am able to change my inks pretty frequently. Um, in my go-tos, I like to have a mix of ones that'll stay inked for a long, long time and ones that I can um, just change out pretty frequently. I like to get a lot of samples. Um, this one's a lighter pen, so for days that I know I have a lot to say, um, I will usually use a pen like this that doesn't weigh much, so my hand doesn't fatigue. Um, I don't post this pen, but you could if you want to. Um, and it is a fine nib. Um, it's pretty smooth for being a fine nib. There is some feedback. Um, so if I'm using it on very rough paper, I don't necessarily go for this one. Um, but it's a wet writer. Um, if you've seen my top five like combination pens, I typically always put Diatrometrous Cola in this. Um, I don't know why, it just happens to be uh, what I choose. Um, so like I said, I also match cartridge converter ones with pens that I don't have to worry about filling very often. And this one is probably, well, it's not the newest, but it's close to the newest um, pen that I've been using. I've had this for several months now, and ever since I got it, I have never actually removed it from my rotation. I've cleaned it out twice, um, but I've immediately like re-inked it once the um, water evaporated out of it. And that is the Visconti uh, Homo Sapiens Midnight in Florence. So this is a power filler or vacuum filler. Visconti calls it power filler, but um, it's essentially a vacuum fill pen. So almost the entire body of ink, uh, entire body of the pen is filled with ink, which means it holds a ton of ink, uh, which is great. And this nib is very, very wet. It's a fine nib, but it writes more towards a medium. Um, it's very wet. It's a slightly heavier pen, but because the nib is so wet, I still don't have to put the amount of pressure down that I would on any other pen. So even though this one's lighter, I almost have the same amount of fatigue with them because this one's lighter but requires slightly more pressure than this guy who's heavier but because it's much much more wet than that um and there's literally no feedback <laughs> with this pen versus that one um, it glides just the same um, i love the hook safe lock so sometimes when i'm writing especially in the morning uh, my cat is very demanding and I do sometimes have to take a, a few breaks to, to go rubber belly, um, which I will always oblige. Uh, so I like the fact that I don't have to screw on the lid. I can just, you know, quickly, quickly cap it um, and then be done with it. And I don't have to worry about um, running out of ink anytime soon with this pen. So that is another one of my go-tos. 
Um, another go-to, uh, which actually I just posted the review of this pen, is the Wancher Dream Pen. So I've had this now, I think, uh, a little over a year, a year roughly, maybe a little more, yeah, something like that. Um, but pretty much always this has been in my rotation. The only time it wasn't was when I was reviewing a bunch of other pens. So when I cleaned this out, I temporarily put it away and just had the pens that I was reviewing inked up. But this one is pretty much always in my rotation. This is a cartridge converter pen. Um, and it, out of everything that I have here, including the um, platinum, this one goes through the ink the quickest. Um, but what I like about that is um, because I use samples a lot, so um, usually samples are anywhere between two milliliters to five, depending on where you're getting them from. Um, I will use up an entire sample in just this pen. Um, not in one filling, obviously. <laughs> but I get like probably three-ish fills out of it. Um, and then I'll clean it out and then I'll refill it with a different sample. So I kind of like the fact that it is so wet um, and it does go through that pretty quickly um, because it means that I get to try out a lot of different samples on a pen that I love um, that writes really, really well and it, it's just a joy to use. Um, and because I like to change my inks frequently, this is a really, really great pen to have in the collection um, so that I can do that. I can cycle through because with the Homo sapiens, um, an ink in there is gonna be there for quite a while. Um, with the platinum, like I said, I typically keep uh, Diatomentris Cola in there. Um, so those two pens are pretty committed to one specific ink. So I like the fact that this one, I change up the inks in quite a bit. Uh, the other two pens that I have, um, I'm not too picky on which ink I have in it, but this Aurora Optima is uh, definitely a not super committed ink pen, but it is a piston fill. Um, so like any piston fill pen, it does take a little bit of time to go through the ink. Now this nib in particular is a medium nib that was ground down by... Um, uh, Dan at the Nibsmith to a medium fine um, and I had to make it pretty darn wet because again I like fountain pen hoses um, so it does go through the body of ink fairly quickly but again it's a piston fill so there's a lot of ink in there so it does take some time um, but what I love about this pen is it's the perfect weight it's in between um, these two pens. So it's in between a Visconti and it's in between the uh, Platinum 3776. What I appreciate about that is it doesn't matter like what paper I'm using it on. Um, my hand just can write for days with it and I really like it. I love the body. I love the feel. I love the look. I love the way that it writes. Um, this is basically my favorite pen. <laughs> so this one's pretty much always in my rotation as well. Um, and then doesn't necessarily have a specific ink to it, but you're committed for a little bit of time. And then the newest pen to my rotation is the Montblanc Petit Prince. I don't know how to say that in French, so I just took a stab. Um, this one has a um, piston fill as well. So again, you're committed a little bit of, to you know the amount that you can put in here, um, but it's not one that I dedicate a specific ink to. Um, it has an oblique medium nib. So unlike the rest, which has a fine, fine, medium, fine, and fine, <laughs> this has an oblique medium. So it's definitely um, gives me the most unique experience, which means out of the five, it's not my most used out of the five because I have to be in the mood to use this nib because you do have to write a certain way with it. Um, but I like to always keep it in my rotation because of that reason. So if I know I'm not gonna write like 10 pages and I'm only gonna write like a page or two, I like to use this pen um, just to offer a little bit of variation, a little bit of fun, a little bit of pizzazz, um, if you will, <laughs> um, you know, to, to my everyday experience. So these five are really ones that I lean towards um, and are in my collection at the moment. Um, this is probably my, uh, like, well, it is my go-to top five. Um, I will do this video again in about six months 
you'll probably see at least two or three <laughs> of the same, but I usually rotate out one or two of them, just depending on the mood. So my question for you guys is what is your uh, top five, it doesn't even have to be five, what is your go-to pens? Like I said, this is not my EDC, because my EDC everyday carry is stuff that I take out of the house. Um, I don't take these out. I do the platinum, but out of the rest, that's about it. I pretty much only use them inside my house or my cottage. I don't really travel with them um, and I don't take them to work or anything like that. So, but this is my go-to at home to do my like journaling and stuff like that. So what about you guys? Uh, stay tuned though, my EDC is coming. Um, and I think you all will be interested <laughs> in what I have in that uh, video. It's not necessarily all pens, it is other materials as well, but for this, that's what I have. So guys, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you wanna see more. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the odd uh, you know, Q&A vlog type style in the middle. Um, and guys, as always, I'll see you next time, bye. How you doing, sweets? You watching mama make some vlogs? Yeah, make some videos. Trying to get away from the heat also because it's impressive. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at you. Look at you, you're so beautiful. Yes you are. And the people love you. <laughs> oh yeah, and this is my nephews. But you know, anyway. Just another Parker update. She's still cute.